Hi everyone, today we have a very silly book to read. Uh, so the title of the book we're going to read, remember that's the name, the title, is John Patrick Norman McKennessy, The Boy Who Was Always Late. So based on this title, what do you think this book is going to be about? Do you think it will be about cats? No. The title doesn't say anything about cats. What about cooking? Do you think there will be some cooking in this book? Probably not. It's probably going to be about a boy who is always late. So this is our title, John Patrick Norman McKennessy, The Boy Who Was Always Late. And our author is going to be the person who wrote the book. And the person who wrote this joke this book is John Birmingham. So we're going to get started. It says, I must not tell lies about crocodiles. I must not lose my gloves. John Patrick Norman McKennessy set off along the road to learn. On the way, a crocodile came out of the drain and got hold of his satchel. John Patrick Norman McKennessy pulled and pulled, but the crocodile would not let go. He threw a glove into the air and the crocodile snapped the glove and let go of the satchel. John Patrick Norman McKennessy hurried along the road to learn, but the crocodile had made him late. John Patrick Norman McKennessy, you are late, and where is your glove? I am late, sir, because on the way a crocodile came out of a drain and got hold of my satchel and would only let go when I threw my glove, which he ate. There are no crocodiles living in the drains around here. You are to stay in late and write out 300 times, I must not tell lies about crocodiles and I must not lose my gloves. So Patrick Norman McKennessy stayed in late and wrote 300 times, I must not tell lies about crocodiles and I must not lose my gloves. John Patrick Norman McKennessy hurried off along the road to learn. Do you think he's going to get to school like normal today? Probably not. And what do you think is going to happen? All right, let's see. But on the way, a lion came out of the bushes and tore his trousers. Uh-oh. He managed to climb up a tree. He stayed up the tree until the lion lost interest in him and went away. John Patrick Norman McKennessy hurried off along the road to learn but he was late because of the lion. You are late again, John Patrick Norman McKennessy, and you have torn your trousers. I am late, sir, because on my way here, a lion jumped out of the bushes and tore my trousers, and I had to climb a tree and wait until the lion went down. There is no such thing as lions in the bushes around here. You are to stand in the corner and say out loud 400 times, I must not tell lies about lions and I must not tear my trousers. John Patrick Norman McKennessy stood in the corner and said out loud 400 times, I must not tell lies about lions, and I must not tear my trousers. 
John Patrick Norman McKenzie hurried off along the road to learn. What do you think is going to happen to him today? Let's see. But on the way, as he was crossing the bridge over the river, a huge tidal wave swept him off his feet. He managed to cling onto the rail until the wave had passed and the water had gone. John Patrick Norman McKenzie hurried off along the road to learn, but he was late because of the tidal wave. Do you think the teacher will believe him? I don't think so. Let's see. You are late again, John Patrick Norman McKenzie, and your clothes are wet. I am late, sir, because on my way here, as I was crossing the bridge, a tidal wave swept me off my feet and made me wet, and I had to cling onto the rail until the water went down. There is no such things as tidal waves in the rivers around here that sweep people off the bridge. You will be locked in until you have written down 500 times. What do you think he'll have him write? He'll write, I must not tell lies about tidal waves in the river and I must not get my clothes wet. And if you keep telling these lies and being late, I may have to hit you with a stick. That's not a very nice teacher. So John Patrick Norman was locked, McKenzie was locked in until he had written down 500 times. I must not tell lies about tidal waves in the river and I must not get my clothes wet. John Patrick Norman McKenzie hurried along the road to learn. Do you think something's going to happen today? Let's see. On the way, nothing happened, and he was able to be on time. John Patrick Norman McKenzie, I am being held up in the roof by a great big hairy gorilla. You are to get me down at once. What do you think John Patrick Norman McKenzie is going to say to his teacher? Let's see. There is no such thing as great big hairy gorillas in the roofs around here, sir. And so John Patrick Norman McKenzie set off along the road to learn. So let's see. Who can remember what three things did John Patrick Norman McKenzie meet on his way to school? So see if you can think of them. So remember, the first thing he met was a crocodile. The second thing he met was the lion. And the third thing he met was the great big tidal wave. What did his teacher have him do when he came to school late? Do you remember? His teacher made him write something 300 times or say something out loud. 400 times, and then he had to write again something for 500 times. So what do you think about John Patrick Norman McKenzie's teacher? Is he a nice teacher, a mean teacher? Very good. I have one more question for you. Who did John Patrick Norman McKenzie help his teacher, and why do you think he did or didn't? So, remember, he didn't help his teacher, and it's because his teacher had a crazy thing happen like John Patrick Norman McKenzie did, and his teacher didn't believe him, 
so he didn't believe his teacher. And do you think this was a nice thing of George Patrick Norman McKennessy to do or not? I think it wasn't very nice, but I also think his teacher probably learned a lesson. I hope you enjoyed George Patrick Norman McKennessy, the boy who was always late, and watch more videos on our channel. There's lots more great stories to read. Have a good day.